Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kenny Roy here. Uh, this is a new format for me. So we're going to do some real reviews on the YouTube channel. And uh, if you'd like to have your reel reviewed, um, animation, uh, demo reel, then go ahead and like and subscribe this one. And any time you see me do a real review, um, I'm going to post it on Twitter. Retweet the real review with a link to your demo reel. And when I see that, I'll download your reel and I'll put it in the queue to, to have... Uh, to have a video just like this one made for it, okay? So if those instructions are, are a little too confusing, um, I might refine those as, as we go along. This is this is the first one, this is the very first one. Um, it's a new format for me, so we're just trying it out and seeing if uh, seeing if there's some some reaction to it. If you guys are into it, then then I'm into it and we'll, we'll keep the ball rolling here. So anyway, again, um, animation demo reel reviews, we're not going to go uh, too far into the um, mechanics. This is these are meant to be a little bit more like what you need to put into your reel, uh, the types of things that you should have if you're going for a certain job. Uh, let's say creature animation over another another type of animation. Just for example, this is the first one is from Mark Masters, and um, he's a pro. He's been working um, it seems in games for a little while at least, and he has a. Uh, this is his uh, demo reel that, um, from his work on Dauntless. Now, I had to look up what Dauntless is. It's basically a third-person uh, monster fighting game, monster hunting game. And um, this is pretty good stuff. So I, the first thing I'll do is I'll always just roll through it the, for one time, and then, and then we'll talk, talk about it. And I might stop here and there and just point out like little things. Let me get my Wacom pen ready. Um, and, and when, when I'm watching it without sound, uh, I'll just say from a hiring position, uh, that, that, that I'm in, I always watch reels without sound the first time through. So, um, this has some music, I believe. Yeah. It's got some music. I have it on mute and it's, it, I always just do that just because, uh, it gets a little bit hard listening to like dubstep and, and whatnot. And I don't, I don't think he chose dubstep. I'm just using it as an, as an example as well. Okay. So, uh, let's, let's just roll through couple quick cuts in the beginning. This stuff is, you know, this stuff shows up later on in the reel. Um, I, I, right off the bat, I, I would just say that as a format, I do appreciate um, when I see an, a game animator's reel, I, I like to see, um, this is really great. I actually do like to see the gray shaded or the flat shaded or, you know, that, that ambient render. But I also do like to see it in game. The reason I say that is because there's a lot that you are doing to uh, to camera when you are working in like linear narrative, like you know movies and television. But when you are working in game, a lot has to do with the perspective that the player sees it from. And if they have full control over the camera, then it needs to work in 360. If they don't, or these are these character animations are going to be seen from from a very specific angle then th that changes things a lot doesn't it um a lot of cool mechanics in here as well i think that this is this is you know pretty strong mechanically um as well uh, again i'm not going to go too deep into mechanics because i i want people to feel like you know they can send their their reel in and i'm not going to like rip apart their animation you know that's supposed to be done that's supposed you know considered done um because it can be a, a little bit uh, a little bit disheartening um this is a good, good example so let me let me stop right here is this the last shot it's a little walk cycle now then we have an, another death i'm assuming that these deaths so, so um, actually, let me let me start from the back and I'll go forward. I'm assuming that these deaths, these ones that the, that the the body is jittering a lot, is due to like an electric spell or something like that. Uh, Dauntless, it seems that there's there's magic, and that it looks like this is like the electricity type type death. Um, I'm assuming like a lightning strike or or, or whatnot. Um, I don't think it's high frequency enough, quite frankly. Um, if you don't have motion blur turned on in your game engine, then certainly you're not going to get the type of uh, dynamic from these. Sorry, I just whacked the microphone with my, my Wacom. Um, you're not going to get the same dynamic that you're getting in these renders. And that's why I said that it, it, I, I typically appreciate to see one after the another. The, now, this is a minute and a half. I've always said that two minutes is the perfect demo reel length so you could actually sacrifice a couple of these shots some ones that i would get rid of are these ones where you are straight on and it looks like the uh the character with the tail is like like sort of like lifting it up and like hucking something this one i think you show the same thing the same motion from two different angles as well it's coming up yeah that is really unclear as to what that is i'm assuming he's digging something up and maybe like 
like bringing like a rock or some sort of attack at, at the player. Is, is this it? Is that it from from another angle? Again, unclear. Uh, that's why, if if at all possible, and if you have the permission of the of the studio, I'm typically people are super open minded these days, so I don't see any problem with this. Um, especially since you have like Twitch streamers and, and content creators, you know, making like playthroughs of games all the time, and and your footage is no different than theirs, except that you're trying to get a job, right? Um, I, I would put how that looks in the game and how that turns out, you know, to be seen from player. I would put that one after another, which would means that like you could cut this down to one minute. You have a you have a minute and a half, right? Yeah, you could cut this down to one minute and then show each one of these things happening in your real. And, and and without everything else there, like rendered like this, so it's not distracting. And then in, in this is how it turned out in game. Um, and um, I, I think just overall, like th th things would be a little bit clearer and it would be easier to see just how just how aware you are, because this is game animation, right, fellas? So so we're talking about things like, you know, how much control does the player have over the over the camera? If this is a third person game and the monsters are in general facing you the whole time because they are, you know, they're fighting you, so they're facing you, then there's a lot of things that you have to consider. So um, just as a rule, I mean, this is an awesome shot because he's coming right at us, but I really did appreciate, you know, the B side of this where, where he, he comes to a skidding halt and then come uh, does this little flip and, and, and then, you know, takes a pose at the character. I see a little, um, I see a little space underneath uh, this, this character in particular. Maybe your controls were on the ground, but um, I like what you did where you sink the feet a little bit into the floor with with the rest of these animations it just seems like it's not um it's, it's it just didn't happen for you on on on, on this guy this action for example that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty straight on almost um you know static composition and if this is you know if if, if typically you know the player is, is is foreground and you know we're seeing it like this essentially and, and and this is how the camera is composed yeah this might be something that needs like sound and effects to 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 really read maybe this isn't the strongest thing to include in in, in your demo reel this straight you know i i call it staring straight down the barrel of uh, of this animation because you don't have as many dynamics to, to to play with screen dynamics you don't have that that lateral movement that you can use to really over exaggerate the anticipation or or the the, the mechanic that's going it, there's like this shutter that's going through his body it doesn't read straight down the barrel um, so maybe this is a shot that you would lose to make room for some of the shots that you would or you know a actions that you would show rendered in in game I'm gonna start from the beginning again and do another uh, do another pass. This is this is fine. That that little that little quick what quick cut intro is, is is fine to to start with. This looks like the same action, just rendered from two different angles. Yeah, it is. Yeah, just have one of those. Boom. There's one shot that you can cut. These are supposed to be really large characters. I did I did say that we're not going to go too deep into um, body mechanics, and that's and that's and that's still that's still fine. I I, I won't go too deep. But I would say that there's a certain amount of um, weight that you could get almost for free by doing a little bit more wiggle on the on the legs on all of these lands. Um, um, yeah, so like when he, every single step, just getting a little bit, if here's your joint, okay, if here's your joint, just getting a little knee wobble. Um, every single step it's it's almost for free man you can you can animate that straight ahead and just like animate like three two one like f f um, frames between so you do your first pose and then animate you know three frames two frames one frame and just a tiny little bit of of, of wiggle back and forth and for for you animators that are out there that don't know what i'm talking about um when there is an action that is a really really heavy character um the reason that like um, if you've ever if you've ever done um, bench press and you've done it with um, a barbell and then you've done it with um, dumbbells and you've realized that like you can do a lot less weight with two dumbbells that add up to one barbell it's because your stabilizer muscles all of the little muscles and sinews that keep your arms straight are are working together to keep that that barbell together but when you have dumbbells and they're free those muscles on their own 
aren't actually strong enough to to really stabilize if you if you are at your weight limit for how much you can press what does that all add, add up to on a shot like this what we have is you know a a big character you know if you imagine the kaiju from from a pacific rim when that when that that limb comes down and when when there's when there's a very heavy hard impact the their sinews you know muscle and bone actually doesn't scale well um so th their sinews when they hit there's nothing that's stopping the rest of that momentum that is in the joints that still have some room to give there's nothing stopping that from from wiggling because the stabilizers just can't handle it so a, a, just a hair more um uh, joints uh wiggling on on each one of these steps and especially these these gigantic like lifts and then falls these impacts i i think just overall you could you you could have a lot more room yeah see so, see so each one of these landing each one of these steps and look you have you have two you know two angles of the same action in a row again it's really not necessary I would I would take I would take just this angle of this one. You have only one angle of that that last one. This is great. I love seeing a character do you know more than like a 180 turn. I I really love it. Um this and and then and then we're back to the first issue that I was I was pointing out. This this does feel very um difficult to 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 judge on its own um because he's being um you know the, the this pose is is totally off balance we have um we have the hips um basically squared up and then the um the rib cage basically squared up as well and 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 just this line right here this is such an off balance pose that we we kind of need to see the electricity there i'm assuming i'm, I'm assuming that's what this is we kind of need to see the electricity there suspending him or her i don't know maybe the monsters are girls <laughs> this is a great um, this is a great opportunity. I'm not sure if you even have these animation files anymore. If you don't, that's fine. And I won't, again, I won't go too much into mechanics right here, but especially in this sort of like wobbly action, those stabilizers are going to be completely falling apart. So even a, a light footfall, you know, get this, get this joint right here really rocking back and forth. And it, it sells that, that sort of, you know, kind of like that laziness and that inability. But when, when, when he, when he places that foot and it, and it just sticks it really sort of betrays the sense of you know uneasiness and 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 um off balance that that you're trying to sell and here's the one here's the shot that i said to you know cut this one you know it, it, it works much better from the single this is rad i love that stuff this is working well anyway so i'm gonna leave it there i think that this is a, a great reel um i would definitely give you know looking for a creature animator on on a on game i'm working on i would definitely um give you a call and, and want to find out more and and uh and, and talk to this animator mark um good job mark uh thanks for sending this in so remember guys uh if you would like to see your demo reel uh get a uh, once over from me, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and then um, find me on Twitter at Kenny Roy and retweet one of the Demo Reel review videos that I post there and give me a link to yours and you will uh, see a video hopefully soon. Okay, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, rock on.